welcome to my channel. My name is Wangala. In on of this channel, we're going to be talking about restoring self-confidence as God sees us, scaling digital products so that you can have an automated online business working for you 24 seven. Will you follow a two hour workday? So that means getting your income producing activities in just two hours. If this sounds like your vibe, like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into it. Again, you guys, my name is Mangala, and on my journey to financial freedom, I have found that the nine to five is great um, for paying bills and getting you from point A to point B. But if you really want to build wealth that really stands at the test of time, and if you want to have that legacy, you want to leave that legacy for your family, for the next generation, you actually have to start pouring into you and start investing into your future, starting something for yourself and start always working for somebody else. But I know the question is like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. You know, how do I start? Where is that? I'll get into how you can start. But first and foremost, let's talk about our mindset. The mindset is the number one thing that keeps people uh, away. It's the number one thing that uh, gets in our way of starting an online business, that gets in our way of just even showing up for ourselves as our best selves. This affects our self-esteem. Our self-esteem, if your self-esteem is shattered, it's in, it's in the toilet, you are going to overthink. And I know we have social media, the comparison game, all this stuff has really like brought in a lot of damage. And some of us really come from families or come from homes where we haven't had the best support, where we don't have the friends who are really cheering us on. And so I praying through that, the Lord has put it on my heart and just like, you know, he wants you, he wants me to tell you, you have everything it takes. You have everything in you to start the business, to write that book, to start that blog. But it is, we have to shift how we see ourselves. We have to shift how God has called us to see ourselves. In Zephaniah 317, the word says, the Lord dances over us. He, he rejoices over us. And so where does this negative self worth self-esteem coming from like where is that coming from it's coming from the outside and we have allowed a lot of voices a lot of things a lot of negative thinking to infiltrate into our space to infiltrate in how we think to infiltrate on who we are when god has called us to be daughters of zion daughters of the most high god so i'm here to encourage you to be that daughter of god he's calling you this is the year of the harvest this is the year to start that business this is the year to write that book this is a year where you stand up and you start putting things in place for your legacy for your family and going into the business aspect of it i belong to a community where we follow a digital blueprint this is allowing us to work a two hour day we follow a two hour work day doing income producing activities, scaling digital products that teach us how to market ourselves so that you can start learning how to brand yourself and teaching other people how to brand themselves. It is such an amazing product. And as you are learning, you are earning. And as you're teaching other people to do the same thing, that's how you're, you're learning an income. And then you can start producing your own digital product, putting the things that God has put into your heart into those digital products and selling those and, and, and scaling those. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the link to uh, my website so you can get started and join my community, join other entrepreneurs who are running, who are learning and scaling their online business. But first and foremost, we have to bring forth, we have to remove the scales off of our eyes and that we, sh we need to see that God loves us. God has called us for such a time as this. If you're liking everything you're hearing, like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment. And leave a comment. I want to hear from you. And hopefully I'll see you sooner than later. Thank you.